Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnius and welcome back to Spore. You may have noticed that our ship design changed very slightly, and that, that is because I sort of lost a small bit of my save data and had to recreate the ship, but that's quite alright, so we're, we're back now and the ship is rebuilt. It is still the Pegasus. Hello little flapping ships. Alright, so we are currently in the space age, but we haven't yet left our planet. Giant skeletons of giant monsters, wonderful. All of our all of our people are one, collecting spice. Oh, that's that's quite cool actually. Balloons full of spice. Anyway, it's time for us to begin our journey into space, so let's click on the communications. Congratulations, cadet. You've got a fine ride there. We are still adding new equipment to your ship, but we should have it ready for space travel in no time. Have you flown a spaceship before? No? Hmm. Well, nothing like a test flight will while the entire population of Megzers of Planet Magnus looks on. Wonderful. No pressure, no pressure, dude. What do you say? Ready to earn your captain's badge? Okay, I'm in. That's the spirit. Each city on planet Magnus has launched a giant orb in celebration of our first spaceship. Really? You can't miss them. Take your ship on a spin around the planet to seven of our cities. Fly through the orbs to break them. Once you have finished, we'll give you further instructions. Good luck, and try not to scratch the paint. I think the paint is the least of our worries. We're probably running on nuclear power. Oh, hello, giant orb. I think I'm gonna fly through you. That... Hmm, that, that did not work at all. Okay, down? Okay, so actually the plus button makes you go down, and the minus button makes you go up. That doesn't make any sense, developers. Ah, uh, Maxis, what were you thinking? Alright, let's see. Ta-da! Okay, good. No, I, I don't like these controls at all, actually. Whee! Okay, remember, up. Oh, now. Backwards. Back. Okay, plus goes down, yes. There we go. Minus goes up. We how many more? Two more? Okay, plus goes down. Good, good. And minus goes up. Ooh, that was a beautiful planet. Did you see that? I, I want to see that planet again. Whoa! That is one beautiful planet. I can't wait for Kerbal Space Program to get another gas giant. Oh, I hope we have rings. Oh, it would be so cool. Alright, so anyway, communication. Good job, cadet. With flying like that, you'll make captain in no time. What do I do next? Now that you're an ace at flying, we're ready for you to use some of the sophisticated tools we've invented for your spaceship. We've been working on the ability to scan the plants and animals you discover on your travels. Looks like this tool comes just in the nick of time. The Sporpedia record of one of our own animals recently became corrupted at the same time the animal started exhibiting some odd symptoms. We need you to scan the animal so we can collect more information about the species. Okay, I'm in. I'll do it. The creature in question is exhibiting an odd glowing trail. Nuclear pollution. Your ship has been equipped with a radar tool that can be turned on and off in the main tools menu panel. It will point to mission targets and items of interest when on a planet's surface. The radar beeps faster when you're close to your target. Select the scan tool from your main tools panel. Hello, scan tool. Your active tool is shown. Very good. All right. I guess, I guess that's my radar? Yeah, alright. So, plus goes down. Hello. I see your strange glowing trail. Well then, I guess I should, uh, scan you. Alright, I've, I've scanned you, that was, that was fast. Excellent, our scientists are eager to analyze the data. God, Zooks! The information you collected by scanning was quite valuable. It is now clear to us that we need to examine the species more closely. Your ship is equipped with an abduction beam. Oh, send in the probes. Probe all the creatures, which you'll find in your cargo panel. Use this tool to collect a specimen and return it to us. Yes, yes, use the abduction beam. I'm, I'm quite aware. Alright. I want to use the abduction beam. Whee! I have collected you. Great. Now where do I take you? Very good. Drop it off inside one of our cities. Select the cargo you want to drop off and drop it off in a city. Make sure you beam it safely to the surface or we'll need you to collect another specimen. Clean up your mess. Yeah, let's not drop infected 
nuclear radioactive species into the middle of a city. That would not be good. Eww. Beam it down. Uh, pick it up and place it inside the city. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. It's right there. Where's my abduction beam? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's in there somewhere. Stupid Borg. Uh, so useless. Oh well. Let's, let's go find another one then. There's so many. Alright, so, we have one. Let's go back to a city. Let's try to actually do this. Oh, I can use the scroll wheel to go up and down. Why, why didn't anyone tell me? That's so much easier. Okay, there we go. Into the city. Very good. Measurably fine work, cadet. You've provided us with an excellent specimen to research. Probe twice, abduct once, I always say. It appears that the specimen you collected was sick and is infected with a virus that is capable of spreading at an alarming rate. It could endanger our entire ecosystem. It's, uh, not really how viruses work, but okay. Of course, we want to handle this compassionately. We've equipped your spaceship with an extremely handy mini-laser. It has the precision you'll need to take out the infected creatures while avoiding the healthy creatures. Okay, I'm in. Yes. So basically, destroy them. Destroy them all. Because they do not deserve to live. Because they've been infected. And clearly, we don't have any antiviral medicine or anything like that. No, of course not. Hello, infected specimens. It's time to destroy you all. Yes, I'm aware. I have energy. Destroy. That was really anticlimactic. Hello? Hello? I see you. Boom. So basically, I'm just a planetary exterminator. Wonderful. It's quite, quite the job. Description. Is this the last one? Yes, it is. Destroy. Is there one more left? There better not be. Screw all of you. Screw you too. And you. And you. And you. Okay, anyway, so stop the carnage. Laudable job. You are the right stuff. You've earned your homeworld's respect and confidence. We want you to pilot the spaceship and lead our race forward into galactic exploration and glory. You've earned the badge and title of captain. Our scientists have developed an interplanetary drive for your ship, but you'll need to install it first, captain. All right, I'm good. How do I do this? Use the trade panel. Yeah, I, I'd like to, to buy this. Very good. Get out your spandex suit. We're sending you on a space journey. We suspect we're not alone in this galaxy. We've picked up strange radio signals from planet Atrio in orbit around our home star. We want you to investigate. So, this is something that hasn't happened in real life, right? In the solar system, we're the only intelligent life that we know of. Obviously, if, you know, there were intelligent beings using radio signals on Mars, we would have seen them by now, especially with our rovers. But, uh, there's nothing that says that two intelligent species couldn't evolve in the same solar system. And that's clearly what happens here. And off into space we go. Well, maybe actually it's not an intelligent species, maybe it's just like an artifact or something like that, but yeah. Earn badges through your actions and adventures in space. Earning new titles, new abilities, unlocking stuff. Tools, alright, wonderful. Yes, I, I don't really care at the moment. Out, out into space. Bam. Alright, so, this is our star. Terea? I'm going to assume this is like Greek, where we don't pronounce the P. Colia? This is... This is our planet, Magnus. Our moon, Eurus. 
That's a comet. Can we go to the comet? I would like to go to the comet. And this is a trio. Very good. This is our giant... Oh, that's the planet that we actually saw in the sky. Kelsis? Kelsis, I believe. Very cool. All right, so anyway, let's go to a trio. Because the trio is totally awesome. Oh, we can't go to the comet. That's so uncool. I want to go to the comet. But anyway, a trio is cool. Let's go to a trio. Boom. Wow. Something is showing up on the ship's radar. That... we Some sort of crashed something or other. Look, there are bones. Oh my goodness. It's a crashed spaceship and it's emitting a strange radio signal. Fly to it and use the scan tool to investigate the crash site. So... I don't, I don't think that's the scariest thing about this. I mean, look, this is another planet in our solar system, and it has a freaking atmosphere, it has water, it has, like, trees growing on it. These are extraterrestrials, so what if they're trees? It doesn't matter if they're intelligent or not. Extraterrestrial biology is amazing, look at this. But no one cares, everyone's like, look at the spaceship, look at the spaceship. Why don't you care about xenobotany? Why? Hello? Should I scan you or just blow you up? Where's my scanning tool? I should really pay more attention during tutorials. Here we go. Scan. Hello. Cutscene? What is this? <laughs> Aliens, but no signs of life. Looks like they drew some type of cryptic map before they died. Wait! The wreck has triggered a transfer beam. Some items are coming aboard. I... Hello? Whoa. I love how, like, as soon as we can fly to space, like, we skip that whole, like, planetary and solar system exploration thing with probes. We just send our guys there directly. That's, that's the way space travel should be done, you know? Who cares if people possibly die? Missiles and an interstellar drive, which seems to have an unknown star's coordinates programmed into it. The wreck's damage looks like it came from a fight. The ship must have been sent from some other planet to get help. That, that is quite sad. Let's look at this. I want to see this map. What? Ooh. Aight, aight. So this, maybe, maybe these are stars? And... Ah, this, I bet this is our star. This is our planet. This rock is a spaceship. And these mini rocks show that around this star, this is the planet that they live on. And they sent, or maybe this guy needs to go here. Maybe this is us. Maybe we need to go here. Oh, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm very bad at reading alien. And this, this is chicken scratch. I can't do anything with this. Anyway, let's get up and go back to our home world. Because I bet they will know what to do. Man, I want to go to the comet so bad. I collected spice. Wonderful. Collecting spice is annoying. So don't don't you guys want to like talk about this whole planetary drive? No? No one wants to talk to me about the fact that I found an alien spaceship. Ah. Wow. Our moon is freaking huge. Look at that. I'm, I'm curious about our moon, actually. Yeah, I know that we can go see aliens, but I want to check out our moon. Let's check out yours. Oh, what, what is this? What are these? Unbearably hot planet. Hello. Anything of interest here? Ow, ow, ow. Jesus. Um, apparently not. Apparently just fire. Alright. Okay. Well then, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and leave. <laughs> just, just a lot of fire, nothing too interesting there. I guess I guess I could go to Colia or could zoom out. Whoa, hello. 
The interstellar drive from the wreck is responding to a beacon from a nearby star that matches the coordinates in its memory. This must be the home planet. They may still be needing help. But I don't... Oh my god, so many stars. I don't... I don't really want to help them, you know? Like, I sort of just... I just want to explore a lot of planets, but... But okay, whatever. I'll... I'll go. Only because you're not really giving me a lot of a choice here. Pyrex. It's a wonderful name for a star. It's a nice little asteroid belt there. Check that out. Comets. Hello. T2. Menov. Gas planet that can't be lived on, but it has a moon that could. Oh, and that's that's it for this. Alright, so may as well go to Menov, I guess. Just gonna come in. Beep. Beep. Something's going on. Something is showing up on the ship's radar. I love this radar view. Of course, it's a it's a city that looks suspiciously the same as our cities. Hmm. Too late. These ruins must have been what's left of the home colony of the aliens from the wreck. Scanning the ruins may reveal clues as to what happened here. Alright. May as well go and, and check out what the heck happened. Because, I mean... Clearly, if they built their cities in a way similar to ours... Actually, this looks sort of like human cities, don't they? The scan came up with nothing, but it seems to have triggered a response. Some activity is showing up on the radar. Hello? That ship... These drones don't look friendly. Wait, an incoming transmission. Warning! Grox intruders detected. All Grox intruders will be terminated. Grox? Initializing self-defense code Grox 999. All Grox intruders will be terminated. We are not the Grox. Warning! All Grox intruders will be terminated. For the last time, we're not Grox. Ah! I guess... I guess we're just gonna... We're just gonna have to blow everyone up. Go away. Go away. No, really. Go away. Oh, well, that that was fun, I guess. They were drones, they weren't real people. Alien technology, who needs that? Just blow it all up. Blow it up, I say. Alright, um... Now that that's done, what do I do? Is there anything interesting? I don't know. What's this? Ah, uh, yes. Not scanned. So whenever you go to a planet with animals or plants... You should, like, scan everything so that you can, like, check it out, learn about the creatures. But I... I don't especially care at the moment. I'll do this later. Anyway, let's go back to our home planet and see if our... our mates have anything to say about discovering, you know, an old... Hello, that's another moon. An old civilization. Some other extraterrestrial life. Uh... Yes, that's our that's our home world. Strange. But but that's our home. That's our home. Why would it detect strange radio signals? <laughs> this is where we live. Hello? Mission accomplished. We knew we weren't alone in the galaxy. Traces of an extinct civilization, hostile security drones, and the Grox. It's obvious that we must continue our exploration of the galaxy and potentially prepare for hostilities. In order to do so, we'll need to set up colonies as bases of operation. Our scientists are already reverse engineering the interstellar drive to replicate its technology. But didn't we already go to another star? We've also developed a SETI device for your ship, but didn't my SETI device already detect something, so didn't I already have something similar to that? It will pick up signals of other sentient life in the galaxy indicated by radio signals over stars that you target. Yes, because I totally target stars. Alright, I'm in. Uh, I'll, I'll do this on my own, thank you. Not now, I'm busy. So, the reason that I cut out of that conversation is because we're nearing about 20 minutes, so I'm going to cut the episode for today. If you enjoyed this episode and all of the inconsistencies and spore, please give it a like, or give me a comment below to let me know what you thought. If you would like to see more episodes in the future, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do make new videos, although not always of spore, on a daily basis. So, 
Go ahead and join the community. I hope that you enjoyed this video and hope you enjoy videos in the future. So for today, this is all. I am Megnius, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.